So you're using Blender and you're in the material preview for the viewer and you notice that, hey, well, I actually like this HDRI that I'm using in the default. And I like all of these. I, I think this one's pretty nice. It's got some warm lights. I like this studio setup. It's got that harsh lighting and kind of the, the soft boxes as well. I, I just like this setup. It could look nice. Yet when you go to render view and you uncheck scene world, you think, oh, hey, look, I still have this. And then you hit F12 to render and it's not there. Why isn't it there? So. If you want to use any of these default Blender HDRIs, it's actually very simple. And I've seen it pop up in a few tutorials where like I've kind of face palmed because the person teaching the tutorial wants to use this and then for some reason acts like you can't use it, but you totally can. Okay, so let's go into our shader editor and switch this to world. And then we're gonna add in a environment texture, shift A environment texture, plug that into the background and then click open. Now I'm on Windows 11. I know a lot of you are probably on Windows 10 or Mac or something like that, but it, it should work either way. All you gotta do is search for Blender and then find the official file location. You can see this is just a shortcut, so it's not the actual Blender file. So you're gonna have to right click that and then click on open file location. And once you find the location of Blender, you're gonna click on the folder that either says 3.0 or whatever version of Blender you have. Uh, you might be 2.9, so you would click on 2.9, but I am 3.0, so click on 3.0 and then click on data files and go down to studio lights. And then you can see here, if you click on world, here all of them are. Now, I'm not sure what these are. Okay. So it looks like you can even click on the Metcaps as well. You can open up Metcaps if you wanted to, you could put them in here. I'm not sure why you'd wanna do that, but you totally could if you wanted to render that out for some reason. But we're just gonna go ahead and pick, I like the studio one, so we're gonna drag this into our Blender file viewer and uh, click on the studio one, open image. And now I'm gonna check scene world. Now you can see it is showing up in our render viewer. And if we hit F12 to render it out, boom. You can use the default Blender HDRIs. I think it's really cool. There's a lot of really good ones in there. I think they're a little underrated in my opinion, just because sometimes you don't need to go crazy spending 30 minutes searching for an HDR, an HDR and sometimes you can just use the default ones. So I use this quite a bit. It may not be the best of the best, but there's definitely times where these ones work. So if you ever need to use them, this is how you do it. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching this tutorial. I'm Jordan Needham. This has been jham 3 d Please give feedback in the comments below. I'm not new to talking on the camera at all. I have a second channel, but as far as teaching tutorials go, I know there's some gaps in my teaching. So please let me know in the comments below what I could do better. I'm always open to hear feedback and improve and get better. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you.